This is 2.5 quintillion. Um, it's a big number, right? 18 zeros. Um, and that's how much data is now produced in bytes per day. And if you think about it, in 92, we created 100 gigabytes a day. 97, 100 gigabytes an hour. 2,200 gigabytes a second. 2013, 29,000 gigabytes a second. 50,000 gigabytes a second. In fact, Google autonomous vehicles take one gigabyte of data a second just to operate each one of them. And so when you think about all that and you're a business leader, you're like, I have all this data. Like, what do I do with it? It's structured, it's unstructured. I, I'm drowning in insight. I just don't know what to do. And so when we talk about experiences in North Star, there also happens to be 7,000 million, million, million stars visible from Earth. Right? That's how many stars you can actually see from our planet alone which is 10 times more stars in the sky than there is grains of sand in the world, to give you a sense of how big that number is, right? And so we, we draw those two because we say, look, there's a lot of data, there's a lot of stars, but why do we talk about the North Star? It's not because it's the brightest, it's the 52nd brightest. We take the North Star because it's the most unwavering. And, and honestly, in 2017, when your clients are calling saying, oh, we wanna talk about disruption, Uberization, blockchain, emerging tech, digital, ah, it's really, in some ways, just another bunch of words for modern. They're trying to modernize their businesses, right? And the, the challenge is, is the fundamentals of business are fundamentally also changing, right? Where technology is leveling playing fields, it's accelerating the rate of change, it's taking everything we've ever learned about business, and said capital, assets, barriers to entry, right? All that's gone, right? And you take like an Uber and perhaps the laziest expression, Uberization, and really what that is, is a software defined business that has rated other industries, right? You take an app as an API engine for supply demand, a mapping capability, a commerce capability, and it's refactoring industries, right? And so that, we, we call it Uberization, but what is that really if we wanna get a little deeper into it? And so we say, if you look at all that data, if you look at all that stars, if you make your focus the North Star, the one that doesn't move in the night sky, and you're looking through all that data, what do you need to focus on? You need to focus on experience. And Ron, um, aside from looking like Ron, Ron uses, I think, this quote now in, in all his pitches, but it basically says that the last best experience any of us have becomes the minimum expectation for experience we begin to have, right? And, and there's a hundred stories around this. Probably the most uh, relevant is a bank CEO in North America that we work with um, would go to the Apple store and repeatedly drop a pen or pencil on the floor to bend down and pick it up to look under and see how the tables are all connected and where the printers are. Because he knew as he's redesigning the retail bank of the future, the best retail experience we've probably had in a long time is the Apple store. And so he knows that the benchmark of experience in retail is probably Apple. Similarly on a contact center phone, how do you, on a contact center call, how do you take all this tech and orchestrate it so that it's not what we used to do, which is try to get people off the phones and triage them on digital channels, we now want to get people calling the contact center but having higher value transactions using voice analytics, using real-time data, using next best action, using marketing techniques, so that when you call and say, hey, I have a question about X, it's a far more sophisticated call than just some person in a call center saying, oh, okay, right? It's, it's, it's something that is an opportunity to sell you. So said, said plainly, and this is like a personal crusade is, Look and feel is not experience, right? Experience is purposeful, it's data-driven, it's insight, it's cognitive, it's AI, it's, it's ever-evolving, it's not the look and feel. In fact, look and feel has, in my view, become like a pejorative term, right? Like, I, I saw it at IBM, I see it actually everywhere. We put a little of that look and feel time in the proposal, and it's, it's not that, right? If you're building an experience, it's from the ground up, which is the basis of what digital reinvention and digitization is.